back to creative bag keeping today i'm going to do a very different video but i kind of wanted to try this and share this with you and i want to show you my little garden so i have a little balcony and i've been starting my little garden i am what i would consider a beginner plant keeper probably if we had like a level from one to ten i'm like a one uh last year was my very first time that i started my little garden this year is my second time I've had some success last year, some failures, hopefully this year I will do better and I thought it would be kind of cool to show this to you even though this is not necessarily fish related, especially because you guys have been so awesome at giving me advice in regards to shrimp, so maybe you can give me advice in regards to plants because I would appreciate it. So I'm going to try to keep this kind of short. Over here. I recently took out my rose. I was keeping it inside. I have a miniature rose and I repotted it in a bigger pot right here. Also, we have a, we have a banana. Hello. 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 Um, okay, can I film please? You need pets? Okay, first we need to do banana pets. Okay, we need to pet the banana. Banana's like, oh, guys, please pet me. I need all the loves. All the loves. Oh my gosh, you want to fall over. Okay, can, can you move these? Can, can you sit right here? Oh, kitties are here too. Little foot, hello. Okay, see, now it's a pet video. We're gonna sit. The twins. They're kind of similar looking. So let's go back to my little tour. But then, uh, uh, no, I'm talking to the people right now. Okay, I'll pet you a little more. You're so an idiot. So this is where my rose was. And then over here is my new addition. I got this, um, Rockapulsa rose, which I don't think is like a rose rose, or is it? But this one is gonna get replanted because I think it grows a lot bigger into this big one right here. And it likes to be in the shade, so I wanted a plant that could be in the shade. Uh, most of my garden gets about this much light right here. It does get some full light in the morning, but then for a few more hours, we get this right here. And then it goes away so i have i guess partial sun over here as well as like some partial shade i have this little guy over here is my little herb garden um which i've already made some mistakes on but underestimating how big these guys will get i actually have uh, six no five five different plants in here we have the um i forgot what kind it is but i've got a basil in here oh, actually, i actually can take this out and look Sweet basil. Yeah, I'm such a beginner, which is why I can keep these when you start out because I can forget. So we got sweet basil. We have the mojito mint, which I remember. We have apple mint right here because I like adding this stuff to my teas. We have some dill because I'm Polish and I love adding it to all my food. Hello, hello, hello. My 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 pointy finger is for pointing, not for petting. But I would understand why you would assume. Oh my gosh! And then this one's like rolling around right there adorable oh my gosh the animals are so cute little foot what are you doing happy kitty happy happy kitty by the way you guys might like my little barrier so i made a little barrier just to make sure the kitties are safe and they're only allowed here if i'm supervising because i'm terrified that they would get to the other side but anyways um right here is a plant from last year i forgot the name but i got some seeds from last year and i'm growing it it's going pretty slow. And then over here are my two Meyer lemon trees. This one is the first one I ever got. It's still baby. And then I got this one that's just slightly older. Got this one this year and is actually flowering. So maybe we're going to get some lemons this year. Who knows? Who knows? I've got this really pretty plant. I, have, I don't remember what it is. Um, I wish I did. The tag that came with it just says classical planter. So that doesn't help. Are you sniffing the rose? Be careful. Be careful, it's gonna prick you in the nose. I also don't know what this is. There's, this is a common trend. I don't remember what a lot of things are. This is cat mint, though. I know that one. Which the kitties enjoy somewhat. Not that much. They're not too crazy for it, but I do love the purple flowers. And then we have normal catnip, which I need to replant. Excuse me, banana. Let me show them. So this is the catnip that I got right here. So I still have to replant it. The kit, cat, kitties, kittens, cats. Oh my gosh, I only have two cats. I don't have kittens. I wish I did. I've been um, 
munching on that. I seem to really enjoy it. And then over here, I have my little bird feeder, which is empty right now. This is usually where I hang my little hanging planter. And then here are my little um, side planters. They don't really fit on here very well, so we have to zip tie them. <coughs> and I'm, I made a mistake, a rookie mistake. When I put my soil in and planted everything, I didn't account for uh, the fluffy soil to kind of get packed down. So everything sort of went down to the bottom. So it's a little lower. Um, I thought maybe I could take these out and then add some more soil. I'm not sure. And another problem I have is I've had birds come and pluck these guys, the leaves. Um, I think, I think these guys are peonies. I'm not really sure. Or daisies? Help? I don't know. But nevertheless, plants have been munching on them. Um, I had this kind of plant last year, but a different color. That's actually the babies that I'm growing out from uh, over here. So I had another one, so we'll have another color. But yeah, don't eat that. Be careful. So that's my little planter number one. Um, I also kind of didn't space these out very well. I know this guy's going to get bigger though, so he's going to need a little space. And then over here, we have more of these colorful guys. I don't remember everyone's names. Then I have this cool flower. Still don't remember what that is either. This is a common, common trend over here, unless I put in a little tag. I know I have the tag for this. So this is the Little Blues Veronica Genetotus something? Perennial? I don't know. Sun or part shade. So I don't know if this guy will like it in this location, but he's not flowering yet. I'm not sure when he's going to flower. And then this part not only sunk, but there was a pair of doves that kind of came over here and they were looking for a place to nest and they were checking this location out. So I had like a dove sitting here. So she kind of squished it. I mean, if she wanted to nest here, I'd let her. Um, but I guess this wasn't a good location. We do have a hawk nest, which is right. Can't really see it, but it's that tree like right there. So there's a hawk living here. So the birdies do have to be careful. But that's kind of my little garden tour. Um, so far, it's a lot, but it's manageable. I, I want to get a little more this year. And then I want to make some space in my fish room to be able to bring some of these plants in for the winter. The plants that are kind of like all year round, like the lemon trees. And I still want to learn a lot. I want to just enjoy this. Banana enjoys coming out here. The little foot does too. Mookie, Mookie somewhere else. He decided not to come today, but we've got these twins over here. And the kitties were enjoy sniffing everything and then munching on their catnip. The reason I got the catnip is to just deter them from chewing on the other plants. So as you can see, she goes right for the catnip and kind of enjoys it. So that's mostly just for her to make sure she doesn't chew on anything. I'm not too particularly worried about them chewing on anything because I am always supervising out here anyways. So no one's ever here alone. So if anything's not cat safe or dog safe, um, it, it's not too big of a problem unless something goes like super dangerous. So for example, one of the things I would uh, not have would be lilies because the pollen from lilies is very dangerous. So that's some things to keep in mind. So I know this is a little bit of a different video. Um, I wanted to do, I want to take, I wanted to do something a little different to show you a different aspect of my life over here. And I thought that maybe you would enjoy it. And Banana would like to get petted. Oh yes. Are you happy now? Are you happy? You waited like the goodest girl. She's like, I can come closer. I can come closer to get petted if you would like. Do we put your nose right here? Boop, boop, boop. Or maybe here. Oh, happy doggo. And happy kitty. I'll focus. So that's it for my video. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll give you fish updates in a few days. There's a pair of pigeons or doves. or I think these are doves that are just loving on each other. Full on making out. Right here. I actually can't really see them through the thing. This should be better. There we go. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, this is better than a notebook. Such love. Yeah, I'm watching them. Is it romantic? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful love story. Right in front of my window.